My name's Christine and I'm gonna go over the My90 page with you. Now, My90 is what you first come to when you log into your account each day or week and it's all the information that's dedicated specifically to you. So every, everybody's page is gonna have a little bit different of content on it, but it's all gonna have this same structure. So in the top left, you're gonna see my to-dos, which are the to-dos that are assigned specifically to me. These are my action items that I'm taking in the next seven to 14 days usually. To the right of that, you'll see my rocks, which are the big projects that I'm working on over the entire quarter that are assigned to me. I can see my scorecards, so the measurables that I own, and then also my milestones, which are the essential subtasks of rocks. Um, so maybe these rocks are assigned to me, or maybe I'm helping contribute to a team member's rock and I have a milestone on theirs. So each of these sections make up all of the items that I'm directly responsible for, and this is across every team I belong to. So if you're only on one team in the account, maybe it doesn't matter as much, but if you are on multiple, so maybe I'm on development, finance, and the leadership team, I can see all of my to-dos, rocks, scorecard items across the board. And then if I wanna filter down to a specific team, I can just click on this status up here in the top right, and you'll see how the items change based on the team that I'm looking at. Now with each of these items, you'll notice that you can click on them to see the details. So if I open up schedule next quarterly, I can see the information at the right hand side, any notes that I've taken, attachments, comments, and so on. I can also see that I've already completed this item. And then if I did need to turn it into an issue or archive it, I can do so right from here. Now, instead of normal left click on this, if I wanted to right click on this item, you'll notice that happens for rocks, scorecard measurables, almost everything in the system. It comes up with this quick menu. So if I wanted to quickly turn this into an issue or resort these items, all I need to do is right click on it and I have that quick menu actions. For our to-dos, if we did wanna archive any that are completed here, since that might include personal to-dos, um, then I can do so right from here. And then if I do want to view my, my personal to-do archive, all I need to do is toggle that over. A personal to-do, when I use the create button, is going to be a to-do that you set up and decide, hey, I don't need this to show up on any specific team. I'm not accountable back to anybody for it necessarily, but I, I want it for my own, my own to-do tracking. So it could even be something like get the laundry done because it's only something that's visible to you or you know making sure you send specific emails or do one-on-one -on -one check ins but anything that doesn't need to be visible to the team as a whole any to do's that aren't personal will show up on the generic to do's page so all of these listed here i know they're not personal cuz they don't have the the token next to it so if i go to the to do's list here this is going to be a list of all of my to-dos and the rest of the team that are that for the team that we're specifically looking at. So if we go to leadership, we'll see a whole new set if we go to another team. And that is the same way for my rocks, for the scorecard, everything. This is just your personal items. And then you can go to these individual pages on the left-hand side to see your team's content. Everything is editable in the same way from your My90 page. So if you needed to update a status or open these up and work on your rock in any specific way, add comments, you can do all of that directly from here. And then if I keep scrolling down, my scorecard, same thing. A lot of times before the meeting um, each week, I'll go through and just add my numbers so they show up here and then also wherever the, that data may appear on those individual scorecards. And then with our milestones, we can open up the details like normal, or we can see the rock that it's connected to. So by clicking on the rock icon, it opens up the full rock and it highlights the milestone that you're responsible for, as opposed to just clicking on the details of that individual milestone. So that's the difference between those two items. If I keep scrolling down on the My90 page, I also have access to some graphs. So here I can see my to-do completion rate over the last 90 days. So this is when a to-do is created is how it's tracked here. Um, so last 90 days of information, we don't have any way to do time filters on here quite yet. And you can choose what you'd like to see the completion rate for. So right now I have leadership team selected. I could change that to all of my teams. I can even change the type of chart that I'm looking at. 
And you can also decide if you'd like to see the difference of completed on time or late versus if you just want to see a complete versus incomplete or if you want to see these two options for past due and not done on time. Rock statuses, some of the same filters here. So depending on if you want to look at just your rocks or teams, this gives you the real time status update of those individual items. And then with our measurables here, we can choose what interval we want to look at for these. Right now we're looking at our weekly measurables across all of our teams, or we can pick specific ones within here. And we can see red, yellow, green. Green means that it's been on track for three weeks in a row. Yellow means we've missed one or two, and then red means we're off track. So this is a quick way to see how all of your different teams are performing. And that's it for the My90 page. If you wanna be a great teammate, you can come in here, make sure you're updating your to-dos, working on your rocks, entering your scorecard metrics before each week's level 10. And you can also real time create issues, headlines, to do's, anything new from here as well, just using the top right create button. So uh, please let us know what other questions you have. There is a live chat available down here in the bottom right hand corner. So thanks so much.